I'm going to show a very brief video clip of an example of hypnosis inhibiting my ability to speak before I begin the introduction. Uh, sorry, the hypnosis was inhibiting. Inhibiting. The video clip is extremely compelling evidence that hypnosis is inhibiting my ability to speak. It's more important to pay attention to specifically how much the hypnosis is inhibiting my ability to speak instead of if the hypnosis is inhibiting my ability to speak. To make the hypnotic commands less noticeable, most of the hypnotic commands were designed to only inhibit my ability to speak as much as my ability to speak could be inhibited without being too noticeable, and my ability to articulate was mostly only inhibited if it was specifically a part of my victim testimonial. In order to avoid the hypnotic speech inhibition from becoming too noticeable like it was in the video clip, the hypnosis would not significantly impair my ability to speak as long long as it wasn't going to be specifically included in my victim testimonial. A series of different inhibitory hypnotic commands were designed to be elicited in succession to further conceal the hypnotic speech inhibition. The various hypnotic commands would be triggered to interrupt me from beginning sentences or after articulating more than three to nine words to interrupt me from articulating complete sentences. Specific examples of these hypnotic commands include stuttering, slurred or mumbled speaking, Excessively slow speech, severe pain, severe physical strain attempting to speak, screaming and or wincing in pain, snapping my fingers, sudden memory repression, sudden induction of confusion, sudden difficulty concentrating, excessively and repetitively uttering subconscious meaningless phrases such as uh or um and abnormally heavy and long breaths as well as several more. The pain, extreme physical strain speaking, confusion, repression of memory, distraction, difficulty concentrating, etc. were used to momentarily distract my attention from what I was saying. After my attention was distracted, the hypnosis would interrupt my sentences without making me stutter for unrealistically long periods of time by coercing me to excessively and repetitively begin saying something else such as um or uh or the hypnosis is inhibiting my ability to speak or I'm hypnotized to feel pain or I'm being tortured or I'm being abused or I'm trying to talk. This would confuse a majority of people that would watch my videos and deter anyone from watching me scream in pain about hypnosis torturing me and inhibiting my ability to speak for 30 to 90 minutes straight before I would be able to articulate the complete sentence. To condition me to interrupt my sentences, I was hypnotized to not be able to finish articulating a sentence or a portion of a sentence until I would repeatedly snap my fingers in a forceful manner as if cracking a whip while yelling about being tortured and abused with hypnosis and how hypnosis has been inhibiting my ability to speak. A hypnotic suggestion to inhibit my ability to speak until I would snap my fingers repeatedly was a method of conditioning me to experience pain and physical strain in speaking because speaking is not a painful or physically strenuous behavior. So the physical stimulus of snapping my fingers was incorporated with speaking to condition speaking as a physically strenuous behavior. Snapping my fingers was a subconscious symbol for the use of force because the use of force in some circumstances, such as strenuous exercises, commonly associated with physical exertion and sometimes even pain as well, hence the phrase, no pain, no gain. The hypnotic suggestion to experience excruciating pain and to repeatedly snap my fingers in order to speak was used to make me seem aggressive and angry by forcing me to raise my voice and yell about the hypnosis inhibiting my ability to speak before I was able to articulate the next sentence or the rest of a sentence, which was used to deter witnesses from watching my videos. The hypnotic suggestions were used to deter witnesses from watching my videos by forcing me to scream in pain about hypnosis torturing me and inhibiting my ability to speak for 30 to 90 minutes before I would be able to articulate a complete sentence of my victim testimonials or of criminal investigation. The hypnotic suggestions made me seem delusional by forcing me to contradict myself because I was able to talk about hypnosis inhibiting my ability to speak. The contradiction of talking about how I wasn't able to talk seemed delusional because it was a self-contradiction, except I was only able to talk about the hypnosis inhibiting my ability to speak and torturing me. My perpetrators needed to make me seem insane in order to discredit my victim testimonial, which is the reason why they need to inhibit my ability to articulate complete sentences in order to make everything I attempted to explain seem delusional and why they needed me to behave erratically while the hypnosis was inhibiting my ability to speak. Further information and a link to my victim statement report and criminal investigation report will be included in the description.
Throughout the video, I will be raising my index finger to indicate when any hypnotic suggestion or hypnotic command is being elicited without having to interrupt myself during my videos. Again, it's important to pay attention to how much the hypnosis is inhibiting my ability to articulate my victim testimonial, which is going to be measured by calculating how many words per minute I am able to articulate in my victim testimonial. Alright, so I'm recording this video right now. Um, I was up at the sorry, as you can. So when uh, I was hypnotized to not record videos. Um, end up being getting tortured and abused to prevent me from recording videos with hypnosis. Um, and um, I haven't been recording videos on Facebook Live either because I've been getting tortured and abused. With hypnosis, relentlessly like an MK Ultra experiment. This is sick, disgusting abuse. Um, moving on here. Sorry, I'm <clears throat> oh, um, so like I haven't um, been uh, drinking water either. Um, you know, it's ridiculous that I have to like uh, record myself to drink enough water. It was so difficult to do until I recorded it, by the way. By the way, I've also been hypnotized to feel pain. Um, and any type of um, pain reliever, um, even like if it's not... Um, sorry. Um, so uh, I'm trying to talk about... Uh, so there's this... Uh, um, like muscle cream, right? It's, um, it has a, I don't know how it's pronounced, capsaicin in it. Um, something like that. And, uh, wow, is that, as you can see, that analysis is inhibiting my ability to speak. It makes it much easier for me to be able to speak now. So anyways, um, the capsaicin is that by, by, by the capsaicin the capsaicin is um extract from chilies that um is used to uh Um, that, um, you know, produces like a feeling of warmth and it's, it can be used for like pain and everything along those lines. Um, it's, uh, similar like in, uh, producing a sensation similar to menthol. Well, um, except in, um, you know, except instead of, uh, the cooling sensation, it's like, uh, the hot, it's the same ingredient that's used like an icy hot, for example. And, um, I'm a hypnotized to not even be able to feel it if I were to try to use it for um like for you know the pain that is being induced by hypnosis so I'm just pointing that out I just want to clarify that very clearly I hate being tortured um today is April 20th by the way I'm going to start a second video too.